Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermit Trent. Today's tutorial is getting out your frustrations by splattering paint and turning it into a beautiful wildflower painting. If you're feeling in a rut, don't know what to paint, just grab a bunch of paints, color, and you know, we'll just splat this and create this beautiful little fun masterpiece. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon where I have extra bonus content weekly and um, if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Let's get started. Alright so I'm just going to go over some of the supplies that I have. I have a 7 by 10 piece of Arches 100% cotton paper, um, my paper towel, my paints. Right now I have this carmine here, peacock blue and deep yellow from Holbein. I'll start off using this just really fat floppy brush. Um, this is a Princeton Neptune number no. 6 brush. And we have our water jars up here. <laughs> um, I'm just doing this particular exercise because it kind of looks like it would be fun and I'm feeling like a little burnt out um, with work, with trying to come up with videos, with everything because it's a lot and especially during this time right now it's a lot going on. So just like everybody else, <laughs> we have our good days and bad days and this week has been tough, just a little tough. So I figured let's do something fun. And I had a piece of paper with a couple, couple of splotches already on it. So if you have paper that has messy splotches on it, you can use it for that. So basically I'm just wetting, getting this paper damp. This is just going to be a fun, simple exercise. Any beginner can do it. And if you're feeling like me, like you're in a rut and everything seems to be going the wrong way, not the right way, and just feel like, you know what? I don't want to think about painting. I just want to paint. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab my peacock blue and water that down. Grab a little turquoise too. I want to make it a little brighter. You see that? It's pretty watery. And I'm just going to throw in some background blue to indicate the sky. This is a really simple concept I've seen. We're just going to be splattering wildflowers. And I'll just take some of the paint up where I think I don't like it and I want the clouds to appear. Or you can use a paper towel like I've shown you a thousand times <laughs> in some of my videos. You guys have seen that now with these three primary colors you can make many colors. So you can take the yellow and grab that blue and make a green. Mix them together. I got this bright green. Now I'm going to start off just putting this bright green down here first. Just like a base background color. And then we're going to have fun throwing color on top of all of this. And there are many ways you can do it. I'm going to clean up my brush. We can start by making a darker green. Add some more blue to that. And that yellow. Get it less watery. Okay. So we're getting some darker green. It's a little watery. Well, let's see how this goes. We're just going to, you can splat it with a smacking it with your hand. Or you can smack it on another brush. Splattering. That's going everywhere, but that's okay. That was the whole point, right? Let's see what we can do with the splatter, splatter, splatter. My singing is terrible. It's a good thing I'm an artist. <laughs> and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to act like two-year-olds and splat. And I'll clean that off. And I'll get this paint a little thicker, which means less water. A little more blue. I use it bullet yellow. I'm gonna add a touch of red. Oops. Obviously the more watery it is, the easier it is to splatter it, but we don't want it to bleed too much. And then we 
can get that blue again. Getting some darker tones in here. This is just a good way to get your frustrations out of the week, right? If someone's making you mad. Life has got you down. We are sick of this coronavirus. Let's just splat it right out of our system. Let's have some fun, huh? I know we're all sick of it. If you're not in the States, you're probably better off than we are. Although where I live, we're doing okay. The rest of the country, not so much. So I've lost a lot of my yellow. I will have to grab some more yellow. I'm just going to wet that down and add a touch of red to that just to tone it down a bit. And then we're going to do this. So here I'm splattering my yellow paint just like I did the green all around getting this nice effect everywhere. Kind of looks like a uh, impressionistic painting at this point. And because the paper is damp, it's kind of blending in with the green. But it's just fun to splatter this all around. Just keep going till you think you had enough yellow that you like in the painting. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. It's not going to look exactly like this because it's a splatter kind of painting. But you get the idea how you just tap it around. And I'm gonna add a little more red a little orange. Orange. It's a little too watery. Gonna take it down a notch. We're adding the red. Now I'm going to clean my brush again. I'm going to mix this blue with the red. I'm going to get some purple. Where did my red go? I actually might change it up guys. I know you're going to hate me, but I was going to use three colors. I'm grabbing the magenta because then I can make a nice pretty purple. Uh, yeah, look at that. Sorry, you can't see it. <laughs> Pretty purple, here we are. And we add more of this pink magenta to it. It's even more fuchsia purple. Fantastic. Like I said, you can use it, tap it that way, or just use your brush and tap it in. Again, I'm using a smaller brush this time. It's gonna make smaller splatters. it's kind of bled like this, like it's whoosh, into the dots. I kind of like the dots. So what I'm going to do is that it's bleeding too much. I'm going to have to lift up my pad that it's taped down on and just lean it that way so it starts to go down this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it so it doesn't bleed anymore and come back. All right, now that it's dry, you see how it really blended in because it was very wet? We can go back in now. Again, take another brush and tap in. See, it's a small brush. It's gonna leave smaller taps. You want bigger taps, use a bigger brush. So I'll go back and grab this big old Princeton number six. Bigger taps. Pretty purple color. And we seem like we lost the green a little bit. We can go back in and fix that. Water the 
this color down even more. But it's looking very impressionistic, isn't it? So we'll go back in and grab some of this yellow, mix it with that green. Let's move off some of the greens. This is just too much fun, right? Again, I'm going to make it a little thicker, meaning more of the tube. Sorry, you're not seeing this, but you know, you guys don't need me to tell you how to do this. You're very smart. Just splatting away. Kind of go in a direction too, if you want. blue, tap that blue in. So I'm making kind of a mess to make sure you're not putting on nice clothes or um, your desk isn't going to get ruined because we're going to have too much fun with this today, as you can see. Grabbing this magenta, going to water it down. This is just like, way too much fun. Your kids could do this. Your grandkids could do this. And it's so cool. So when you do the first layer with wet on wet, it's like that it's that light one in the background. And as we're getting closer to the front, they're getting darker and more intense. Right? Go back in and grab some of this yellow. Tap that around. It might bleed into other colors and get a little muddy so just be careful with that don't want to overdo it too much now we can stop slapping around the paint and if you want to go in take a skinny brush I always use my Princeton number eight where are you hiding <laughs> this is the number that's the Neptune the Neptune series and the Velvet Touch series are completely different the velvet touch has that long, pointy. I am missing my paintbrush. It's making me sad. Oh, here it is, <laughs> right in front of my face. <laughs> so I have the long round number eight. Now we're gonna go back in and make the paint a little creamier. There's that blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of that red. Make this a deep dark green. And you can go add some stems just like this connect them just like so like I said grab some more paint Get some peacock blue fun just putting the you know the uh, goodness darker lines in here and you can put some leaves just tap them around I mean it's like a splatter but it has a more you know you're giving it a purpose it's not just haphazardly being spent around here you're actually moving the paint around like this Creating some kind of stem. Wispy little stems all over. Very impressionistic looking, isn't it? This would be a great gift to give to somebody who needs to be uplifted because they're having a hard time, like many people right now. The world needs to be lifted. Now this got a little muddy down here. I can take a paper towel and just pick up some of the paint if it gets like that. It's still wet. 
gonna go back in with my yellow here. Just brighten it up a little bit. My yellow green, add some more of these little stems coming out. So I'm just putting a stem and adding little blobs around there. Not too much, you know, I think it has the the style we were looking for. Just wild, haphazard. Now the pink is really dark and you're not gonna be able to get it lighter on top of here. So you're gonna need some gouache. If you don't have any pink gouache and you only have white gouache, you can just take the white gouache. I'm gonna show you. So I have some white gouache right here. You can grab that um, magenta and mix it with that. And you, it's almost like you have pink gouache, right? And then you can just dab, you can splatter that here, because that will lay on top nicely. Now, if you did this with gouache, it would all lay on top nicely. But the background was really cool with the, just the haziness of the wet on wet. And now I'm just throwing in some really light pink splatters getting it more of that impressionistic look in the front, maybe even whiter. Because remember, it's opaque, you can go on top. It can even take some white itself and put on there, just even lighten it up even more. If you don't have white, use whatever you have. You can water down acrylic paint. I'm sure you got some kind of white. See, now I'm taking white itself and splattering it right around. I want to have fun with this. Don't want to be serious. It's supposed to look like a splatter wildflower field, like I did before. having fun. See, I'm just putting a stem in and just dabbing around it so it looks like leaves. If you want to actually put some nice big flowers in the front, you can do that. I would suggest you do it in gouache because it's going to be, oh, you know, it's not going to be, a, it's not going to be able to go through the watercolor. So this is basically it. We have completed the design. That was pretty fairly easy to do, don't you think? And lots of fun. Um, you know, you can add a little few more touches in here with your stems and your leaves. If you want to add more gouache flowers, go right ahead and put those in um, just to brighten it up a little more. But basically you get the idea of how to create this fun, simple, easy, abstract, impressionistic style splatter paint um, tutorial. See, I'm just tweaking in and adding some more white and some like light pink flowers. So I'm going to clean up a bit now and uh, peel off the, the tape to reveal what will be the final piece. This is the most satisfying part actually pulling off the tape and seeing what is completed. I love the white border that the tape creates when you're painting it down. So I hope this helped get rid of your frustrations for the week like it got rid of mine. Um, don't forget again that I have uh, bonus content on Patreon. You can find that link on my about page here on YouTube and in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial. I hope it brings some joy to you. I'm so happy for you know all the joy you guys give me as my patrons and as my supporters here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Take care and I will speak to you soon.